Hey everyone, my name is Karen and I'm from Embody Nourish and today we'll be making five yummy hot drinks that you're gonna love cozying up with. The full recipes will be on my blog at embodynourish.com so make sure you check it out. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. It will mean a lot to me, so enjoy guys. Get your cheeks super rosy with this green tea latte infused with the gorgeous scent of rose water. Start off by cutting a 3cm cube of fresh ginger. In a small pot, pour in 2 thirds cup of water, 3 drops of rose water, the cube of ginger and 1 teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Give the pot a big stir to break up the cinnamon gum and then bring the water to a boil. Then add in the 2 green tea bags and then turn down the heat low and let the pot simmer very gently for 1 minute. After a minute is up, remove the pot from heat and let the tea bags continue to sit in the pot for 5 minutes. So now we're going to warm up the milk and steam it. If you have a milk steamer at home, then you can definitely skip this part. In another small pot, add in 1 cup of plant-based milk. I love using almond, coconut and soy for this recipe. Over medium heat, whisk the milk continuously. You might need to use a bit more than 1 cup since some of the milk will evaporate and foam up. When you're ready to serve, remove the tea bags and the ginger from the tea. Pour the tea into a mug and then slowly pour the steamed milk into the tea. Add in maple syrup according to your sweet tooth and stir. I like to sprinkle some edible rose petals over the top and a tiny bit of cinnamon as well. The rose petals give a beautiful colour and texture to the latte and will add to the rosy flavour too. This rose green tea is a perfect pick-me-up alternative to coffee. I love sipping on this in winter, the roses remind me that spring is just a season away. Talking about seasons, bring the festive season to your home at any time of the year with this velvety gingerbread hot chocolate. Pour in one cup of plant-based milk, I recommend coconut or almond milk for this recipe. Combine with one tablespoon of cocoa powder in a small saucepan over medium heat. Whisk until you smooth out the cocoa powder and there are no more lumps left. Now add in a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ginger and a quarter teaspoon of allspice. Whisk to combine everything together and until the hot chocolate becomes frothy. Add in one tablespoon of maple syrup and adjust this according to your sweet tooth. You can use your favourite sweetener here as well. And don't forget to add in a small pinch of sea salt. If you want your hot chocolate to be really frothy, then before serving, whisk the hot chocolate really fast. Pour the gingerbread hot chocolate into mugs and give it a little taste test. While the drink is still very hot, you can add in more spices or more of the maple syrup. I like to finish it off with some sprinkle of cocoa powder and some cinnamon. You can drop in some cacao nibs if you have some on hand too. I love how this gingerbread hot chocolate makes me look forward to the next festive season. It's filled with so much love, joy and happiness. Use up your leftover sweet potatoes and turn it into a beautiful sweet potato latte that's so buttery and velvety. Peel the skin off one medium sweet potato and line a baking tray with baking paper. We're going to really bring out the flavours of the sweet potato, so using a fork, poke holes in the sweet potato. I like to poke three holes on either side of the potato and bake for 45 minutes or until it's tender. When it's done, remove the potato from the oven and let it cool. Peel off the roasted outer skin and then scoop the flesh out into a blender. Pour in two cups of plant-based milk. I recommend soy or coconut milk for this recipe. Blend the sweet potato mixture on high until it's smooth and creamy. The sweet potato should be completely pulverised. When it's done, transfer the creamy sweet potato mixture into a saucepan over medium heat. Add in two cinnamon sticks, add in one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and one teaspoon of ground ginger. You can use fresh ginger as well. Give the saucepan a big stir to combine all the spices together. Now add in two tablespoons of maple syrup. You can adjust this accordingly. This sweet potato latte will come out really thick and creamy. You can thin this out by adding in more plant-based milk. Pour the latte into a mug and look at that gorgeous yellow golden colour. By now you can take out the two cinnamon sticks but I like to keep them in there just to add a bit more flavour. Sprinkle some more cinnamon over the top and there you have it guys. This sweet potato latte is insanely buttery and velvety. You'll definitely be making this over and over again. 
Okay, this is not quite the latte, but this apple cider elixir is enticingly soothing for the soul and body. Slice up a quarter apple and a quarter of a pear. In a small saucepan over medium heat, pour in one cup of apple cider and three cups of water. Add in the pears, the apples, a couple of raisins, one star anise, a quarter teaspoon of whole cloves and two cinnamon sticks. Give the saucepan a stir and bring to a gentle boil. Turn the heat down to a low and simmer uncovered for 20 minutes. When it's done, pour the drink into a serving bowl or jar. Add in one to two teaspoons of maple syrup and adjust accordingly to your sweet tooth. In summer, I love to turn this into an exciting fruit punch with a couple of ice cubes, fresh fruits and your favorite rum. I love my turmeric lattes and my chrysanthemum tea, so I had to combine them two together. Pour in two cups of water into a saucepan over medium heat. Add in a handful of chrysanthemum flowers and bring to a boil. Add in two cups of plant-based milk, I use coconut milk here. Give it a big stir and don't worry about breaking the flowers up. The petals will give a really nice texture and flavour. Add in a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract and a quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. Stir to dissolve all of the turmeric and add in a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, a pinch of nutmeg and a pinch of cardamom. Stir again to remove any clumps and then add in one tablespoon of maple syrup or according to your sweet tooth again. And when you're ready to serve, pour it into a mug and let the flowers drop in naturally. The chrysanthemum flowers are edible, so enjoy the flavour as you drink the tea. Thank you so much guys for watching our video, it really means a lot to us. If you do want to support us in other ways, then don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, it will make a whole ton of difference. So thank you so much guys and we'll see you in the next video.